Hello my beautiful cappuccinos and welcome to your general reading. So today we're going to be seeing what is coming towards you, lover, friend, family or foe. Please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa, so just take what resonates, which agenda, switch roles, do what you got to do and leave the rest. If you'd like to book a personal reading or for anything else, all the information is in the description box below. So this is for my beautiful cappuccino. So firstly, we're going to start off with your career, your project, your idea, whatever it is that you want to do. And we're going to um, get some energy around that. What's your what's affecting your um, affecting your work in your environment? What card represents you? The action that you need to take in order to, you know, get things popping. OK, and then we're just going to pull some general messages and see what comes out. OK, so let me know in the comments if you kind of like this. I'm implementing this in these readings, okay, for the generals. So this is for my beautiful cappuccino. So the card that represents your project, your idea, or your place of work. Sorry, guys. This is for my beautiful cappuccinos. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Yes, honey. Okay, we have sun, okay? And then we have ace of fields, so the ace of cups. So beautiful energy. So Whatever it is that you want to do for work or if you're doing something up for work right now, like say you're in a workplace or you're working for yourself, you're very, very happy at what it is, whatever it is that you're doing, okay? Or you're going to um, receive a lot of great emotional fulfillment from this and a lot of money, um, Capricorns, a lot of abundance, a lot of attention, okay? So this is beautiful energy. If you're thinking about doing something, then this is confirmation that it's going to be very successful and it's a brilliant idea, Okay, but whatever you're going to do when it comes to work, business, and idea or project, just know that you're going to be very successful and very happy. Okay, so this is gorgeous. This could be something completely new as well. But, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. I feel like it's going to, um, it's going to make other people happy too, okay? So if you're thinking, okay, how are people going to feel about this? They're going to love it. So this is gorgeous energy, okay? So complete success, especially if you have, um... Capricorn like in its rightful house which is the 10th house or if you have Jupiter in Capricorn Capricorn or if that's your north node okay it means that you're on the right path okay so beautiful energy we have the ace of things so this is the card that represents you okay so you could be dealing with the Libra Sagittari Sagittarius could be okay Aquarius is what I meant to say or um Gemini now because I just said Sagittarius and we're in Sagittarius season I feel like something is going to pop off in december okay in this season okay you're going to get a lot of success and abundance so cultivating the energy of sagittarius okay but this is you right now so you have brilliant ideas i feel like you've got a new idea you're implementing something that you're doing or you're um starting something new a new project a new job okay but um amazing ideas um capricorn so this is you right now so whatever comes to you that's exactly what it is that's exactly what you need to do these are two cards of clarity okay so beautiful energy so like I said, if you're thinking of something right now, this is your confirmation. Look for a thing. I mean, come on now, people. <laughs> if you're thinking of something right now, you're thinking correctly, okay? So let's look at your environment right now. Beautiful. So we have the lovers and the ace of create, which was right behind that. So two aces here. So this is your environment right now. So I feel like you're completely and utterly in love with what it is that you're doing. Okay, you could have a very helpful or successful partner that's also, um, you know, teaming up with you to help. Or this could be like a really good partnership or business partnership if you're kind of collaborating with someone. Okay, but I'm getting like beautiful communication here. But this is your idea. It's almost like it was a thought and then you're putting that thought into form here and you're creating something with it. You're creating love. Okay, so literally making love is what I'm getting here. So beautiful energy. For some of you, you could be making love and that's what's helping you to get all these ideas. Just like, you know what, babe? <laughs> I have an idea, but I don't know. I, you know what I mean? I, I just, I need a little bit more energy. It's like, okay, you know what I mean? Open your legs. <laughs> Stop it, pop it. Let's move on, okay? But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, that's how we trans um transmute information, right? It's free love making. But you know, the love is love making. It can also mean like talking, like engagement, intercourse is also another word for communication, okay? Could be dealing with the Gemini, doesn't have to be. It's just a good reading. I feel like you got the best energy so far, um, for the earth signs so far. So beautiful energy, Capricorn. So what action do you need to take? Look. Capricorn, you know what? You know, I'm a I'm a Capricorn stellium, you know, so I'm just just saying, okay, I'm just saying, okay. We have the six of create the six of wands, Leo energy. Some of you could have significant Leo placements, okay. 
So just the action that you need to take is to be proud of what it is that you're doing and be successful. Just say, I am a success. I am a success. I am a su success. Beautiful energy, Capricorns. You're already successful. Okay? So this is gorgeous. Be proud of yourself and you know what I mean? Walk around her like, yeah, this is me. I did this. Okay, what did you do? Who gives a fuck? Because I'm talking about me. <laughs> so I'm getting talking about your ego. Do you know what I mean? But this is a beautiful energy. I mean, we have the sun, the lovers, the ace of think, which is the ace of swords and the six of wands. So keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, the eight of feel. So I feel like you're abandoning things that don't serve you. That's just not about what it is that you're about. It's like, you know what? I've got my ideas. I'm going in the right direction. So like I said, if you've got an idea, just know that that's what you're walking towards. Okay? You're walking towards success. Beautiful. Especially if there's something creative. And underneath that, look, we got the creator here. So whatever it is that you're doing, Capricorns, you will be successful. Okay, this is your time, darling. Beautiful energy. Gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> okay. Gorgeous energy. So let's move on. So let's just look at your general reading now, okay? So career seems to be booming for you or your projects or your ideas. You know, that's going well. Okay, touch the wood, make it good. You know what I mean? So, um, so let's just see the general energy. Okay, so we have quirky wanted to come out. It says, normal is boring. Why be a horse when you can be a unicorn? Exactly. Okay, so you're a red breed. You're doing something different as well, which I feel like is why it's going to be very successful. With the beauty at the bottom of the deck, um, Virgo just got this, so you could have significant Virgo placements. It's as pretty as a picture. I feel like you are a unique beauty, or there's something that you do that's very rare and unique. And that's what makes it beautiful. Okay. So gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous energy, Capricorns. I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. I haven't felt like this in the readings in a while. So this is good. So this could be you. Maybe you haven't felt a certain type of way, but now you do. You don't just get all of this beautiful energy. Okay, so we have in their shoes that wanted to come out. And then we have flow at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like the tables have turned when it comes to like some kind of situation. So you felt some type of way at some point or you were in some kind of situation. Now somebody else is. So somebody's going to be feeling something from your perspective or they're going to be forced to be put in a position that you was in. And I feel like for them, it's going to be very uncomfortable. But for you, it's going to be easy, breezy, lemon, squeezy. Okay. So I feel like it's time to swap places. You know what I mean? So a beautiful transition or transformation. Okay, so I feel like as above, so below. I always get that when I see this card. And the flow card here kind of reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like, you know, whatever is happening, just let it flow. Just let it happen. So I feel like someone is going to be seeing something from your perspective. Maybe you're trying to tell somebody something or someone put you through something. And now, you know, it's going to be the other way around. Okay. Yeah, karma. It's their karma. We have decision. We've got, you know, it's my justice card. Sometimes the, de sometimes the best decision is no decision at all. Exactly. Let it flow. Don't interrupt someone's karma. If you see that the, the wheel is turning, let the wheel turn. Because I feel like you're at the top of it right now, okay? Maybe someone's trying to pressurize you to make a decision, but you're like, no, I want to remain balanced and neutral. You know, that's not my business. So you know what I mean? The decision will be made by the universe is what I can see here. And it says surrender. Um, stop trying to control life. It gets in the way of divine intervention. Exactly. So allow the divine to take the wheel. So relinquish control is what I'm getting here. And I feel like that's what you're doing. Because, you know, Capricorn, that could be hard for you. I mean, underneath that, we do have follow the spark and then attachment. You are quite a restrictive energy. But I feel like if people try to restrict you, it backfires. So it's like someone doesn't understand your energy or they don't understand your placements, but they think that they do. So you're just like, okay. Okay. <laughs> Please clarify quirky. Someone takes something too literal is what I'm getting as well. Someone is too literal. That's why the surrender and the flow card is here. Someone, you know what I mean? Someone just wants to take the wheel and do this and do that. Someone doesn't believe in energy flow and the universe. Okay. But you do. Please clarify quirky. Yeah, look at this. We have the six of ones. You got the six of ones twice. Could be dealing with the Leo. So like I said, you're successful. You could have significant Leo placements, particularly Leo rising, I want to say, or Jupiter. 
maybe Venus, maybe it's your North Node. But I feel like, like I said, you're going to be a success or something that you're saying is right. I feel like you're going to be very proud of yourself or people are going to be very proud of you. I'm also getting that you're receiving some kind of accolades that you deserve. So it's your time to receive your rewards, um, cappuccinos. Yeah. While somebody else is going to be disappointed, feeling like they missed out on an opportunity, maybe, like I said, you were trying to give somebody some type of information out of love, or you're trying to give somebody your love, and now it says in their shoes. So at one point, you were being ignored, and somebody else was being revered, and now it's the other way around. Now somebody wants your attention. Okay, oh well. Yeah, but you're not giving it to them. Oh well, the hermit wanted to come out where it's in their shoes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> be dealing with a virgo does not have to be so someone has to look deep within themselves with the hermit card okay please clarify the decision what is the decision about yeah the fool exactly you know what i mean you're just like you know i ain't trying to be no fool right now i'm not trying to make no foolish decisions i'm just not going to make a decision at all i'm not going to walk off this cliff am i a dickhead i mean come on now come on so I feel like, you know, normally you would take a risk or whatever, but now you're like, no, because I feel like you can see where something is going, but someone else can't see it. So you're like, well, that's okay. Or you're deciding to break free and, you know, take a risk and it's going to go in your favor. Either way, you know, pick a side. Yeah, the four of swords. So I'm getting, I just see you here laying here and just letting shit happen, man. You're just like, I knew it would happen. Yeah, look, we have the wheel underneath. That's what I'm saying. The wheel of fortune, I called it. You're just letting that wheel turn. Like I said, now you're on top and somebody else is at the bottom and that's just, just, just the way it is. Okay? But I'm getting a beautiful turning is what I just heard. Also, beauty sleep as well. I feel like you're finally going to be able to sleep and just do what you need to do and rest, okay? So your beauty is going to start to increase. Because you're just relinquishing control. That's what this kind of means as well with the fool, the surrender and the decision. You're just let, allowing the universe to just take the wheels. Like wherever I'm going to end up, wherever I'm going to fall, that's where that's what's going to happen. But I feel like this is to do with someone else because of the in their shoes. So I feel like someone is going to experience something that they put you through or that you're currently going through that they were trying to ignore. Okay. And then we have the sweet talker and the neat freak that wanted to come out. Could be dealing with the Virgo. So something is going to clean up in your life. And with the sweet talker energy, I feel like you're very persuasive at this time. Somebody also could be trying to kind of sweeten you up. Maybe somebody wants to come back into your life or something. And you're just like, I don't really know about all of that. Yeah, with the introvert underneath that. I don't know. Because I feel like you're doing really well right now or you're about to be. You freed yourself from a situation or that's the decision that you're making to be free, unencumbered, to go on a journey on your own. And like I said, you're going to be very successful doing it. Okay. Or like I said, it's the other way around now, you know, but anyway, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Oh my God. Did, your reading was really quick. I just saw 13, 13. So that could be very significant. I'm thinking like, did I miss something out? No. Okay, well, it is what it is. So thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Please not hesitate to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments. Bye.